20% our websites actually mm -hmm. use uh, website builder. Small costing companies, they rarely focus on players can see panels. Easy to use products, we will succeed also with this. And we start uh, like f focusing more on uh, conversions and usability than, than on beauty. I mean, it simply did not work out, <laughs> right? <laughs> the idea was there. Hi, Hi Michael. Hi, how are you? I'm nice. Couldn't you represent yourself? Yes, my name is Michael Osterlo. I'm the founder or co-founder of Host Africa. Uh, Host Africa is in business now uh, for six years in South Africa. We are a truly South African hosting company, although one might be able to hear that I'm not South African, right? I'm actually German. Yes, it is very usual here. There is qu there's quite some Germans here, especially in the area where we are in Cape Town. It's quite common uh, to see some Germans here. Or couldn't you represent local market and your company numbers? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, South Africa is actually the biggest uh, domain market in Africa, right? We have around about 1.3 million uh, uh, domains registered in South Africa. If you compare this, for example, with Nigeria, right? There's yes. only 10% of the domains registered. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and the population here in South Africa is around about 60 million inhabitants, while Nigeria is 200 million, right? You mm -hmm. see, I mean, the main penetration is really high and mm -hmm. uh, far the highest in, in Africa. And also, it's a very, uh, I would nearly call it a European market, right? Uh, very, uh, I mean, a very, a tons of products, cloud computing products. South Africa is really the industrial hub for most of Africa, or at least the southern part of Africa. Uh, as I visited all countries around South Africa, I can really guarantee that, and also in numbers, that South African market is bigger than maybe 10 countries around, yes, all, all together. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And maybe uh, because you're one of the leading company, maybe you can uh, also uh, share like some information or maybe just spread because when I come back, lots of Europeans ask me what, how it's South Africa like. So the average price for hosting is usually the same, similar like yeah, as Europe. It's similar to Europe, right? Uh, people would also look for quality hosting here, and that's what we actually offering, right? We are a support centric uh, company. So people look for quality. So the average price is around $5 for a hosting package, right? We really com can compare uh, of course, with the rest of uh, Europe or US. Support is 24 7 is in all uh, educated countries. Absolutely, it's 24 7 actually what we're offering. Right, it's quite an effort that we have to do, and we are uh, pretty, I mean, strong on virtual servers. I mean, it's really sophisticated clients, right, that require tons of up uh, uptime, and so that's why we uh, we offering 24/7. And by the way, growth is mostly on shared hosting or VPSs. Now, interesting. At the very beginning, when we started, VPS was our flagship product, but now it has changed also a bit. I mean, we, I mean, dig deep in order to get also I mean, quite of market share in shared hosting, and that's what we are growing. The most actually at the moment was kind of surprising. Everybody says share, uh, says shared hosting is actually dead, but it's, from what we see, it's not actually. We still have, I mean, the very healthy growth and the, actually the best product for of all, out of all of our products is still shared hosting. And uh, as your name, host Africa is represent like all Africa, not South Africa. So <laughs> yes. it's like uh, as, a, as I know, also your strategy is also focused on absolutely, absolutely. We have started out in, in South Africa, and then last year. We have uh, bought the first business outside of uh, South Africa. Uh, in Nigeria, it's called Domain King. So basically, we're busy integrating this into West Africa. We have already uh, parts integrated into West Africa. And we have also launched now a Kenyan presence. And we are also trying to establish uh, even a local presence there. So you have people on ground. So our strategy is rest of Africa, right? And also our strategy is part of the strategy is to consolidate businesses all over So you Africa. have, uh, as I understood, you also bought a brand in Kenya, yes? Yeah, no, in Kenya we have established our website, so right. hostafrica.ke okay. is basically our website. But do you have local, local guys who support? We don't have your local guys there yet, but we are busy mm -hmm. setting this up and because we are busy buying actually out a company. Uh, yeah, uh, in Kenya is leading in that area, like big Tanzania, Uganda, yeah. Rwanda, Kenya, they talk the same language. Yeah. And uh, Kenya is really the center. And as you remember, Kenya is like about 100,000 domains or something. And it's really Absolutely. much bigger than altogether. Absolutely. So if you take Kenya, you will take all around. And also it will be like a bridge for you. Yes, exactly. So we, the idea is that we have a Western African, Eastern and a South, uh, mm -hmm. uh, South African uh, strong presence, mm -hmm. right? And that's really also co that will hopefully also cover the rest of the markets around mm -hmm. there. Actually, that's the idea, right? So we are truly African uh, uh, mm -hmm. hosting company. Actually, so um, good, Host Africa is a really good name, <laughs> and uh, 
Uh, can you share maybe most popular payment gateways in South Africa and maybe you know something about the rest of Africa, uh, trend, uh, trends? Yeah, uh, actually we uh, using uh, for South Africa uh, PayFast, it's quite popular, right? The, I mean, the big uh, shopping camp companies, online shopping shops also use uh, PayFast. Uh, for the rest of Africa, we use actually Flutterwave, right? It's mm -hmm. very popular in the rest of Africa, right? They offer most of the African markets, so it's actually quite convenient for us. So we don't have to have many uh, payment providers here in Africa. PayPal is also used, uh, but not as strong as like in, in the US. We're offering a, 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 it uh, on our checkouts, but it's basically the local, I mean, Flutterwave and PayFast as the checkouts are heavily used. I mean, meaning credit cards are very popular. Now the interesting part, uh, uh, Kenya, right? It's credit card is actually not known there. It's everything mobile payment, right? 95% mobile payment, so-called M-Pesa. M-Pesa, yeah. yeah. Mobile money, so mobile money is, uh, mobile money, Africa is number one in the world in mobile money. Yeah. And also it's uh, yeah. only one way to get money. Well, yeah. in South Africa, it's not uh, as strong, not as uh, strong uh, as in Kenya, right? Uh, surprisingly, although it's also, I mean, in a lot of informal market, but I mean, that's also where we think where the market will move uh, towards, right? It, it, by the way, in, in mostly in many countries in Africa, people can take a uh, phone with, with buttons and send money to each other, yeah. what is technically unable to do in Europe. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> that's a really cool thing one has to say, right? And about global brands, as you know, GoDaddy, Shopify and other global brands focusing on South Africa because they are developing market. Mm -hmm. But as you know, very often I heard the very, very bad responses about the support and something like that, yes? So, in about, in uh, terms of South Africa? I mean, yeah, yeah. No, South Africa is proper South Africa, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, but still a very local market. Uh, if you look at the big uh, hosting companies, mm -hmm. the big brands are actually not here in South mm -hmm. Africa. What's quite interesting also in Nigeria or Kenya, right? If you look at the uh, domains, who registers the domains or who is the registrar, it's actually not the big guys. What's really quite of interesting. It's also mm -hmm. kind of a sweet spot for us that the big guys are not uh, necessarily mm -hmm. have But there's no in South, ex exactly in South Africa, GoDaddy or other brands are very, very active. Yeah, GoDaddy is there in South Africa. You're right. But I mean, the other uh, global brands are actually not that, mm -hmm. that strong. So that's why the, the big hosting companies, including uh, us, is basically, we still have a, a niche here, actually. That's quite nice. And what about people? They focusing on website builders or it's just culture only coming? Uh, I mean, we uh, had a look before our meeting, had a look. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and 20% of our websites actually mm -hmm. use a uh, website builder, right? We use Site Pro, obviously, yes, but... as a website builder. Of course, and, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what else? And 20% uh, of our customers make use of uh, Site Pro, actually, as a website builder. But what you just, uh, as we talk about with you about e-commerce, also, we did a test after after talking with you. I did test with my team mm -hmm. and like uh, analyze Shopify. Shopify has probably similar features than us. Maybe some changes in payment gateways. Mm -hmm. Only one thing that they are really very professional on uh, UX, mm -hmm. UX UI. And uh, as I see also, what I like in developing country hosting companies start focusing on on uh, interface because earlier hosting companies was like technic guys. Yeah. Now they are more like gross hackers and absolutely. And uh, what also about uh, about the future? Where is like, what is you what you see the future is like? Regular mm. hosting, it's website builders, it's like some cloud e-commerce or like it's. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's everything about ease of use, and especially in countries like here, it's not sophisticated. We have tons of non-sophisticated customers. Let's put it like this, right? And so, and the uh, I mean, the informal market especially. Right? I mean, there's non-sophisticated guys, right? And but they also need uh, hosting services, right? If it's Facebook, if it's professional LinkedIn uh, profiles or Instagram or web hosting websites or email, right? And with that, we have to help them, right? The communities are really strong here, but I mean, they need IT help, right? That's what we have to focus on in the next couple of years. Whatever product it is, I actually don't know uh, from top of my head, but I mean, still, if you have easy to use, uh, uh, easy to use products, we will succeed also with those products in Africa market. And that's the focus is more on, uh, on ease of use here in Africa than the rest of, of the world because the customers are not so sophisticated actually, right? We have a technology that allows customers to migrate uh, from one platform to others. What do you think about that? 
No, migration is key also for us, right? I mean, we don't, as a hosting company, we don't want to lock in into a technology, right? Technology mm -hmm. changes. Yes. And so hopefully, I mean, yes. we have an open platform where you can move out in case yes. of it's necessary, right? And we're seeing this situation with control panels, for example, yes. right? I mean, some control panels raising prices uh, uh, like crazy, actually. And yes. I mean, as a hosting company, you have to have the flexibility to move out in case you have to, right? I mean, we are. I mean, hosting is strongly a, a, a cost-driven business, right? And so we have to have the flexibility. By the way, small trends, when I talk to small hosting companies, small mm. hosting companies, they rarely focus on placement panel. Mm. When I talk to big hosting providers, there's no exceptions. Yeah. Everybody thinking their strategy, uh, how to slowly move away from that panel. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Just a small, small chance also. Absolutely. Maybe can you share like your biggest fail that you can, that is, could be public? <laughs> I'm for, the, uh, for, uh, for host Africa or in general. For oh, you can get in general. No, I, I basically I also had a cloud computing or kind of cloud computing uh, company before where we mm -hmm. uh, tried to trade cloud computing capacities. Mm -hmm. I mean, it simply did not work out, mm -hmm. right? The idea was there, but it simply did not work out. So I, uh, we stopped the business actually after a couple of years. And so that's how I ended up with Horse Africa, by the way. So the biggest fail turned out into uh, uh, my biggest win, actually. <laughs> well, for, for us now, we because customers need more templates, so we start building more templates, and when they need more, 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 but we see that people still need like not more, but better templates. So then we start repelling new templates, and then we found that, let's say, template A, template B, one is old and one is new. So we make show to customers like 10 old templates and 10 new. And some customers said, I will prefer old one, I will prefer new ones. And we understood that we just... So what, what we start focusing, we start focusing on templates that really had worse conversion for customers. So we took <laughs> worst, worst templates and see where people are really stuck. And we started uh, like f focusing more on uh, conversions and usability yeah. than, than on beauty. Because yeah. beauty is like... Uh, <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> so maybe you can f share your... like. Uh, best ads or maybe any life hacks that worked for you here and that people can scale it to other countries or i mean it's hard to say right we try to be the best on seo right that's basically mm -hmm. where we actually good on, uh, mm -hmm. in and that's where we invest a lot of um, money or you in in invest like uh, like on this uh, specific like uh, Code injections, like look at everything, like that very detailed, or you maybe focus on the best content, best content, creating I mean, new, unique content. Right? Actually, both, right? Actually, both, right? I mean, a, you have to have a combination of both, yes. right? And really try to push hard on SEO, right? And mm -hmm. especially smaller companies, they don't invest into SEO yes. a lot. I mean, the big, big guys, in, I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. they yes. are the best there, right? Yes. And we're trying to be as close as possible, right? Mm -hmm. We're trying to be the best of the medium sized companies yes. in SEO, right? Mm -hmm. And that makes a difference or made a difference for us in the last mm -hmm. couple of years. So organic uh, traffic well, is, I mean, we're really strong on organic traffic. While in the begin beginning, we were not, right? But we dedicated. Uh, or you dedicated, of course, or the services, services like shared hosting, like VPS, of course, these keywords are, are like by domain name, of course, they are extremely competitive and you focus on them. But rest, were you writing writing articles about yeah. what? Uh, we're writing articles. How I to mean, use, what is hosting? Especially Linux articles are, uh, ah, I, mean, okay. uh, I mean, they're really strong, right? If you, okay. if you look for them, we have some, I mean, really some, I would near say, or some old school Linux articles. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable the click rate you see through this, right? So we also, SEO is our weak place. We're really good on SEO. For example, we have two products. In one product in Lithuania, we take everything. On SEO, we just take all the market. But with SitePro, we're really very weak. It's our weak place. We're really good on SEO. Like, we know how it works. We know everything. We like, earlier in Google, sometimes we just type the keywords. We earlier had like eight of 10 results. So in Google, we have eight results of us. <laughs> so we're really like good fans. But in uh, in global engine because of dot pro yeah. dot pro is really not good solution yeah, yeah. just because google is like dot com is better or dot dot ru or dot lt or dot something yeah. is better dot cosi is better yeah. than dot dot pro but uh, also we now because i don't like many articles so we what we start doing maybe is a bad idea i, I say we don't have nice help so we start doing nice for q for q for every component now we're doing for Q for every component. Mm -hmm. And later we will do a short video for every component. Okay, and later yeah. we will 
put it inside the product as well, so we can provide to, <laughs> to our customers. That's so interesting. Maybe you can share or put some thoughts on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also we s we have like many videos like this, mm -hmm. and uh, we see like in videos what you have like description, but uh, usually in Google they don't search in content in yeah. YouTube. So we now about every video we also do short article, so it will be we can land people somewhere on the website, not land yeah. them on YouTube, but land yeah. on the website. So it's also uh, nice, nice thing, a nice trick maybe. I mean, not maybe not in terms of marketing, uh, uh -huh. uh, but in general, right? Uh, uh, for hosting, I mean, we see a lot of smaller hosting companies, right? Yes. That struggle, struggle, struggle. Yes. Right? And we're trying actually to partner with them and trying to help them, right? Mm -hmm. We're trying to really also, I mean, organize a market for the smaller guys, right? Mm -hmm. and, yes. Uh, and be a partner for them instead yes. of uh, being competitive, right? And that's you, what we're really trying to achieve here in if South you Africa. Need the, if you need the, I have like probably in every small country we have friends. In the neighbor, you know, in the neighbors Namibia, Botswana, and also yeah. small companies, they are really uh, the lack of competent, compet yeah. they are not competitive, like not competitive. They don't have enough competence, yeah. uh, like no, yeah. no knowledge of what to do next. Yeah. They do do like basic mistakes. So we can yeah. also talk after the video about this. I can share no, lots absolutely. of information. Look, I mean, that's what we're also looking for. We're trying to reach out to the African community, right? To other yes. countries. I mean, we have started this. We have reached out to 100 web hosting companies in Africa in order to see if they want to have also a strong African partner. What they're doing at the moment is they're uh, going to US companies or European companies, right? And trying to deal with them, but it's tough for them. I mean, they're so small for them. And so we're trying to uh, uh, approach them as a partners, right? And try to help them as, as partners. Right? Very nice. I, we really wish you go, good luck in the South African. And also, is Africa is huge and there are no one center. For example, in Europe, one center like Germany or like uh, Netherlands, it's really enough for Europe. I don't say that completely enough, but for Europe, one center like, well, like Germany or Netherlands, it's really enough to cover all the Europe. Yeah. With Africa, it's a little bit different because the component is very long and the yeah. cables located, so you need something in the north, yeah, something in the south, and something in the middle. Maybe in the middle, you have several points. Yeah, so absolutely. if you focus on Nigeria and Kenya, some, somewhere here in South Africa, something in the north. I mean, in the north, it's uh, difficult, right? It's, it's, uh, there's massive language barrier, actually. Yes. Right? So it's difficult also for us to lift synergies, right? If you have business there, we can't simply operate uh, uh, the same support uh, desk there, since <laughs> it's such a different language, and also cultural differences, right? But the rest of Africa has still a kind of a similar culture, right? Yes. Uh, because of colonization and so on yes. and so forth, right? But there is still a similar culture. But right? still, like, north it's French, a little bit Arabic. Yeah. Then Portuguese absolutely, and, absolutely. and lots of English, of course. Yeah, also okay. that's also uh, the advantage here in many in the countries where we have started. Now mm -hmm. that's it's a common uh, a common language, right? It's English, the business language. Although in South Africa there's I think 13 uh, or 12, uh, yeah. maybe I'm wrong, uh, official languages, right? But I mean. The common language that people still share is kind of English, what's really nice, right? So we only have to operate a uh, English help desk. Yeah. The so same for Kenya and Nigeria. So many small companies, uh, also for Africa, will look us, so they will contact you. Yeah, absolutely. About no, so I mean, uh, I'm happy to partner with uh, African uh, 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 hosting companies and really, really trying to offer them something special, right? A special partnership uh, outside of the usual, what they would be used to. Uh, with uh, European or uh, American companies, actually, right? And uh, look, uh, uh, the cables are good enough for, from South Africa uh, to reach the rest of Africa, actually. I mean, it's the same latency between Nigeria uh, and, uh, and Europe and uh, Nigeria and South Africa. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much for the uh, nice talk and 